Stand up straight so we can see your horns all pretty and whatnot. How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub and you know what? One of the cool animals on this Silver Ridge Peaks map has to be this man in orange over here. The almighty pronghorn. And we all know that uh, Old Flinter was uh, pretty happy about uh, this being added into this map, but I tell you what, I would like to uh, see up close and personal what these pronghorn look like, and I think we might start with this level three over here, because honestly, I haven't seen too many others. We got some other males over here, because uh, I haven't seen a level four pronghorn yet. Um, they're kind of, I, I'm not going to say rare, but I honestly just haven't seen one. Maybe I haven't been looking very hard. That could always be the case. You never know with me. Uh, let's check out the trophy score between these guys. That one goes to 82, 78 there. And 62. They don't have a win going to them, but they're still uh, kind of pacing back and forth, which is kind of strange. That one goes to 90, okay. So of the four threes that we've seen so far, that one's definitely the bigger one. That one, those are twos. 82 and then the one across the way. The one across the way goes to 90, okay. I think we're gonna drop this mofo. We have one bullet. And that's all we need, baby. That's all we need. But while we're running around looking for pronghorn and doing this, let's talk about the need zones. I have two need zones so far for the pronghorn, the drinking and the eating need zone. And it should be said again that it looks like in this Rocky Mountains map, the need zones are being changed, kind of an overhaul of sorts. And it will be interesting to see if they end up applying it to the other maps. I know we've talked about this a little bit. If you watched over my uh, my other videos covering some of the other species, but it looks like they're doing some strange things when it comes to the drink zones and the eating zones. So uh, to those of you who want this game to be a little bit more realistic than it is already, you are going to be a little bit happier. Right now, the pronghorn drink from 8.30 in the morning to 10.30. So you have a two hour gap to try to catch them while they're at a drink zone. After that, they tend to eat between 10 and 7 o'clock at night. So that is 10 in the morning to 7 o'clock in the evening. They're going to be roaming this space, checking out different need zones, eating food, you know, laying around apples and oranges and, and grape trees and stuff like that. All that, you know, um, you know, they're, they're herbivores, obviously. So they're going to be eating, you know, uh, avocados and whatnot up in the Rocky Mountains. So uh, check out that. Make sure you're checking your avocado trees and whatnot for the pronghorn up here in the Rocky Mountains. And, uh, you know, that may do it. That may be where you find them between 10 and 7 o'clock at night. All right, getting closer to our level 3 pronghorn here. Pretty excited to see this guy's horns. We can mat down the grass really nice and easy. That is so sweet. We might just snap a picture here just in case we don't get another chance. Very cool. Our first pronghorn. Well, not our first, but you know, first one of the episode anyway. Level 380 right now. Five points above gold and 18 below diamond. So still a good ways to climb there. We'll look at the true score here. We can see there's horn length, circumference of the base, prong length i'm guessing that's uh what is that 5.56 points maybe it's this uh frontal point here is that the prong i'm not really sure not really sure maybe it's the back end maybe someone who has some experience dealing with pronghorn knows better than me and will comment down below so that i can pin it uh that would be really cool circumference the first quarter 16.93 very cool down here at the down here i guess not at the base because there's also a base circumference uh, second quarter 8.62 and the third quarter 5.63 cool to see there I'm gonna snap a picture with my phone so that we can remember it when we find a larger pronghorn that is for sure because we need to find a bigger one for this episode so there we go our first pronghorn here level 3 80.1 let's go find a level 4 at least I mean it would be cool to find a level 5 my god look at all those females where were you huh we were just over there didn't see a single one of you. But anywho, 
Let's go find a level four. I really want to find a larger pronghorn, and I haven't seen a level four this entire time, so I'm really looking forward to finding one. My God. I have to tell you, I, I've been searching for a level four for a while now. Maybe an hour, honestly. I feel like I've been searching for so long. Should have just enough. Just enough. What was that? What was that? Freaking bullet to the lungs, bro. 80.14 was the score of this guy. So we will see what this level four scores as. I'm really interested. Look at this guy. This guy does not look very big. I'll tell you if anything, if that prong, if that's a prong right there, maybe that's bigger. Otherwise, I don't think he's much bigger than the three we shot. Let's see. 80.9. Oh my god, he is 0.8, not even 0.8 higher than the level 3 we shot. That's how close that level 3 was. Let's check out the true score real quick though. Shorter horn length, uh, shorter or less circumference, more prong length. Okay, so there you go. That's the one thing I noticed just looking at the horns. So there you go. Two, two longer. Um, the circumference of the first quarter is a little bit more. It's by three points. Um, circumference second quarter basically the same size and the circumference of the third quarter a little bit bigger 6 6.14 instead of 5.63 so there you go I mean it's just barely larger I tell you what it's gonna drive me insane but I think I'm gonna go try to find an, another level four okay did find another level four and he looks doesn't look a whole lot bigger but at least it's another level four my god because the level threes and the level twos are everywhere this guy looks a tad bit bigger anyway right in the shadow right in the shadow okay well, let's go check out this level four here and see how he differs from... I'm just gonna compare him to level three again. My god, that last level four, that was just... That was just fake. That wasn't even a real level four. He was just a poser. Someone who just doctored his resume to make it seem like he had the experience, but he didn't. So... No! Are you serious right now? This is a four that's less than a three! My mind is just blown right now. My mind is just totally blown. Shorter horn length. Same base circumference. Prong length is less. Circumference first quarter is less. Circumference second quarter is the same. And the circumference of the third quarter is less. Yet this is a level four. What, because of the weight? Because he was heavy? He'd been eating too much? Tell you what, he hasn't been getting enough, uh, enough vitamins, vitamins and minerals to put into his freaking horns. He should be disappointed in himself. This guy doctored up his resume even more than the last guy. They're still swarming around like a bunch of sardines. Hold up, fam. Grab a seat, grab a seat. We might have found a level four pronghorn that is actually going to be worth shooting. Is that him? That I think that's him. I think. Let me make sure. Let me do a quick once over. There's a 74 to 96 right there. What are you? What are you hidden in there? There's a couple of fours in here. Which grabbed my attention at first. Then I started uh, searching them to see, spotting them. With my amazing built-in hunting scoring system. My, uh, my hunter is so smart, he can look at an animal and score it in his head. He's like, oh yeah, that is between 74 and 96 right there. It's gotta be. All right, so we have that 76 to 98 over there. Hopefully, he will be a pronghorn worth mounting in the freaking lodge, man. That's all I want. Is that so much? Is that so much to ask for? I shot a three and it scored, it scored 80. 80.4 and ever since then I haven't been able to find something that's meaningfully over it 
like just shockingly over it. This is the funny thing with these planes is that you can shoot one and then literally walk over the hill and see another animal and shoot it. And for some reason that is so much fun. I'm really enjoying these planes and it just makes me want a Kansas map even more. 76 to 98, that be him. That be him right there. We are going to get a real good shot on this dude. Stand up straight so we can see your horns all pretty and whatnot. There you go, bud. Okay, so we just shot a 68 to 88 as well. So I thought we would be able to compare the two real quick. And you are scaring me, bro. That is some some wicked horns right there, though. They don't look very long, but by God, that is some circumference in that second quarter. Or uh, first quarter, whatever it is. I don't even know, man. I don't know how to score pronghorn. Never actually shot one. 78.7. Interesting. Okay. That's $1,100, though. A good little chunk of change right there. 74 to 96. That's not bad either. See how wicked his horns are? The ones like really big and the ones small. Might have to go get him. I don't know. <sighs> Man. Okay, let's look at this guy. Let's look at this guy. Please be something good. Please be something good. 87.8. That is the biggest one we've seen so far. So this was this score, this level four here was the same score. I don't know. He could have gone up to 98, I guess, which would have been a diamond. Interesting. Okay, let's look at the true score. So horn link, I can already tell the horn link is more because it used to be 26. Yeah, it used to be 26.98. Now it's 30.08. Circumference is actually less at the base than the level three that we shot. Prong length is 6.96 instead of 5.56. Circumference at the first quarter, that's what I was talking about. It is now 19.12 instead of 16.93. So that is three points higher. Um, 10.81, which is two points higher, and 5.32 is actually smaller than the third quarter. So interesting. But uh, 87.84, that is the biggest one we've seen so far. I'm gonna save the harvest here, but that guy is the Biggest four we've seen so far. All right, we already did our mountain go video, and uh, and now we are going to place down a pronghorn here. Can we put them on here? Nope, just turkeys. Okay, well, what about this one? I bet we can put them on this one. Okie dokie. Yes, look at this dude. That is what I'm talking about. All right, let's check out some of the poses. Ooh, uh, already shooting off with one of those, huh? Yep, other side now. Oh, deflecting, deflecting. Oh, dodging, dodging. Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? Ooh, ooh, in mid jump, mid jump. Oh, landing. I'm land. Oh, I'm about to buck you. I'm about to buck you with my horns right there, bro. Okay. Ooh, look how stunning I am. Looking, looking. Oh, nice, nice. About to jump. Looking so. Freaking studly. That is awesome. That is awesome. The pronghorn definitely looks amazing. I mean, it's one of my favorite looking animals on this map. Um, for some reason, it just it, it's just a stunner. It really is. It's just a stunner. Every time you look at it, you just you gotta think, oh my god, that is a freaking nice looking animal. But yeah, really cool, and I am just I'm blown away with how cool this pronghorn looks. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, I th you know what? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the pronghorn. I hope um, you're excited to hunt these pronghorn because I am. That's for sure. And uh, comment down below what you think because I'd love to hear it. And, um, you know, like and subscribe while you're down there. Subscribe if you haven't already liked the video as it really helps me out. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it, everyone. As always, hunters, keep gaming. Never stop.